Hello everybody, today we're out here on Timbergold Trails and I'm hunting one of my favorite tree stands actually. I've seen a lot of non-typicals killed out of here and definitely shot some pretty big 200 plus muleys out of this stand and I'm going to show you where I was at right now actually. So basically right in this stand right here is right where I was sitting. And while I was sitting in that stand I noticed a wolf came in and it snuck in from the back side and it actually was chasing a bull elk but what happened was the bull came running by and the wolf kind of stopped well I was using my wolf call to try and slow him down a little bit and eventually he stopped but when I got a spotting on him it showed that he was 70 to 95 kgs it was definitely gonna be 16 plus and my biggest wolf right now is like a 16 one and so I knew this was gonna be a good one alright guys so here you can see the wolf just stopped right behind the tree and the problem is he was so close to the tree where if I took a shot I might risk glitching my arrow out against that tree and it's a little bit too risky so I kind of hesitated a little bit and I tried to call him in but then I realized he was only going further and further away so I had no other choice but to try and take him out with my recurve without having any time to get a range on him we took a shot and we hit just to the left of him and I think what happened is the wind pushed it just to the left. So as you can see, we just missed the left of them. And as you can see, we we're trying everything we could do to try and call them back in. Or slow them down or do anything. But he just did not come in. No sign of him whatsoever. And then, just my luck somebody spawns on the tent right across the river right from where he was just sitting so I go over and get on his track and try and figure out which direction he's headed next I tracked him all the way down to the river and as soon as we got here there was no sign of him whatsoever only thing I can think of is that he went right towards spider monkey and it wasn't his fault but it was just unlucky that the wolf went right towards him and I'm sure as soon as he spawned in, it probably saw him and spooked a different direction. So, I requested for some help from Wiggles. So I found his next track across the river, and the problem is I couldn't find the track after that. But as soon as Wiggles spawned in, he actually found the track right next to the tent. So he helped me track it for quite some ways, and we got his track going all the way to, we're about 100 meters away from the out-of-bounds. And the problem is, once they get out-of-bounds, they probably aren't going to come back in. So we don't really want to spook him too far. We're hoping that he kind of just hangs right on the edge of the out of bounds. And we got an alright wind. So he should be able to hear us. And all we're going to do now is just kind of press forward slowly and keep giving little calls and see what happens. Alright, so now we're getting really close to the out of bounds. And we found the next track. It's sort of to the right a little bit. So we thought, it's actually a dead deer that apparently I shot it a while back and I didn't remember shooting it or where it ran to and it died right here. So I would imagine it's going to have a pretty long wound time on him. Alright, now things are getting a little bit sketchy because we got the next track but we're basically going out of bounds right now to try and track this thing. And there's no sign of him turning back and coming in bounds. So if we don't keep pressing on we could potentially lose this wolf and never see him again. And the only reason that we're still tracking him is because I have a pretty good feeling that it's going to be a monster wolf. I don't have very high spotting on him, but I just have a pretty good feeling he's going to be a trophy wolf. Alright, so we're creeping a little bit more forward, and all of a sudden we catch a glimpse of the wolf right there. Now, if this was the same wolf or not, we didn't know. But... The fact that if it was the wolf and he cut left, he should be within calling distance of us right now. So we're going to have to take our time and move very slowly. Alright, so finally we're getting to a pretty good position and I hear something coming right at us. It's got to be the big wolf. So I'm getting ready, we're getting excited. Now I have my tracers loaded in my crossbow right now, so they're all ready and set. And sure enough, it's a stupid doe. So we dropped her, 
and we'll pick her up and continue on. All right, at this point, we couldn't find any more tracks. Then finally, I decided to run out of bounds, and I found a track going way up here. And we were kind of risking getting kicked back to a tent or a lodge. So basically, we had to just run forward 20 meters and then come back. And then once the timer went back down to zero, then we could run forward again and then come back. But we didn't really have any other choice because we didn't want to lose this wolf. So basically, at this time, we decided to find a nice spot where we could see a little bit and try and just kind of hang out there and give a couple of calls and see what happened. Unfortunately, it decided to rain. And you know how hard it is to try and hear a wolf sneaking up on you in the rain. It's almost impossible. But luckily with two guys, hopefully one of us will be able to see him coming in. And that's exactly what happens. So Wiggle said he just heard something that sounds like a wolf. And we look to the right, and sure enough, we both spot this wolf the exact same time. And let's just see if it's him or not. Yep, it's definitely him. That is a monster wolf. And he's sitting out there at 55 meters. And we could easily shoot him with the reverse draw crossbow. No problem at all. The wind is blowing right at him. Perfect. Or not so perfect. And now is when it starts to get interesting. So the wolf is out of bounds right now. And the problem is we can't shoot him until he comes about 35 meters towards us to where he's about 20 meters inside of the out of bounds line. And for that to happen, the shot would have to be less than 10 meters away from me. So that's not going to work out very good because by the time I'm about to shoot him, he's going to spook and he's going to be gone and we'll never see him again. So we decide to set up a plan. We're going to have Wiggles push off to the right a little bit, maybe like 20 meters away. And the wind's actually blowing that way too, so that'll work out good. And I'm going to have him go over to the right and start giving some calls. And hopefully, when this wolf gets interested, he starts coming our way and goes right to Wiggles and gives us a shot. So we're calling for like 20 minutes now, and finally he's coming in. So we're going to get the crossbow out, get ready, and hopefully get a shot. Here he comes right now. He's about 30 meters away. He's going to be about 20 meters away. We're going to take the shot. And we can't shoot. So we're trying again. Oh my god, we just dropped him. I can't even believe it. That wolf was seconds from spooking from Wiggles. And we just dropped him. Wow, that was so cool. And that wolf was so close from spooking from Wiggles. Wiggles was literally 15 meters away from this wolf. But let's go see what he scores. He scores 16.53. And we hit him in the lung, shoulder blade, and spine. So we hit him absolutely perfect. Because if we would hit him anywhere else, we still probably would have got him. But say we hit him in the intestine, he could have ran out of bounds far enough to where we wouldn't have been able to track him. And that's happened to me before, where you run out of bounds, and by the time you find the next track, you can see it in front of you, but you can't get to it because the timer of the out of bounds is actually getting down too low to where you just can't get it. So that could have easily happened. But luckily, it didn't. We made a perfect shot, and it definitely wouldn't have happened without the help of Wiggles. So thank you so much, Wiggles. That was that was an awesome hunt, and by far my biggest wolf so far. It definitely was worth the time and effort it took to get to him. And so I think that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>